Okay, another monster. That the Trident infantry is pretty good against the the Spider Man. Uh, kill that. Ooh. I don't think we need two of these. This is kind of garbage. I would like to keep one of them for later. How many removals he has? I don't think he has a lot of them. He's running Araka Swarm. Okay. Using one token. Right away, round one. Can he kill this? Will he kill this? Two arms. I just play it. Remember the old Gwent one copy of each card shoop deck? Really love this one. Yeah, that was really good. One of my favorites for sure. Old time favorites. Uh, it was more more interesting. That that actually had the same. Same appeal as the three row system because we went from three rows to two rows and we went from three uh, per deck, three, three, three identical bronzes per deck to two. So in the past, going with one uh, one off bronzes was a more meaningful decision. But now, Shoop is basically not even worth playing, even if you're playing a one off deck. And it doesn't even matter too much because you're kind of playing a, a gold deck in the in the first place. You just have a gold uh, hand round three. So the bronzes are just basically throwaways for round one. Again and again and again. Yeah, that troop was awesome. I don't think we're gonna see that. Uh, in the future, but I would like to see. Okay, fair enough. They changed the amount of bronzes per deck to two, and now Shoop is not very meaningful. But I, I still think that Shoop and Radea. I, I think Sh I think it was more interesting if uh, if one deck building condition is tied to one card because now you have Shoop and Radea, and you have them both. In the deck. Every single time you're building a one-off deck, it's not a Shoop deck, it's a Shoop and Radea deck. And I think that's just worse than ha just having a Shoop deck. Your arrow shall fly straight and ever strike your foes. But I would like to see more deck building limitations. Like, I don't know. How about the bronze only deck? Do you guys remember that? Or the full 41 Fultest. That was hilarious. One of my favorite decks. Amazing deck. I loved it. Wait, what? He's giving me a card. Oh my fucking god. Can we punish him for this? Your Majesty is exceptional. Would you guys like to see more deck building limitations in the, the future? It doesn't have to be a uh, cross faction. It can be uh, just limited to a faction as well. I don't know. I don't know what could be it, but it, it could be just, uh, yeah. It doesn't have to be like bronze only, but it could be like you have to play with a deficit. Or imagine you, you actually, you don't play with a deficit, but you play with uh, 
I don't know, you don't have like 165 points, more limitations. Yeah, more limitations. More s very specific how you build your deck. So instead of like a one-off deck, you would have like I would definitely would like to see something done with bronzes because currently they are not that impactful. A literal poor beggar faction, they can only find bronzes to play with. I wonder if they are less eager to make a bronze only deck because uh, it's gonna affect the business model to, to an extent. Oh, but yeah, can you guys just brainstorm some ideas? What would you like to see? If you would like to see, you love the 41 Foltest? Yeah, I fucking love that deck. That was awesome. It just makes you think about the game completely differently. I, that's why I love the red deck too. Although that plays completely differently. You're not, not even trying to win with points, I, I suppose, but just like spamming your opponent's board. The 41 Foltest actually was even more interesting to design than 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 to play to an extent it was really interesting to play but designing it is so interesting because uh i had there was a card called hubert and that boosted itself based on the back never mind so the the point is there was a card and it was really hard to find hubert in the deck so i had to build the entire deck hubert i, I believe was a seven tall guard card and you didn't have too many cards to find it and that that was how you win the game that that is how you win the game so i had to build the deck to be smaller than a seven everything was smaller than a seven so i could find hubert and uh yeah that was that was fun So that's a two. Actually, this is a six. We'll find the princess and win. <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> what the fuck? Uncalled for Sodo. I know that I'm dumb, but uh, why exactly I'm dumb now? Big Fortis is dumb. Too much high roll. <laughs> because I'm messing up, because I'm chatting. And more singular nodes. Maybe pick your own rules mode. Uh, for example, no damage cards or no lock mechanics in the match. Particular rules, but then no one would play ranked. One thing that I would like, and it's super simple, that but I would love that. That just like in tournaments, you can ban one faction. Come on, we got six factions. Six fucking factions. Why can I ban one faction? I was kind of hoping the, not to play Igni. <laughs> not your... what? Not your stoic. But I guess you're dumb right now for not reading more than one line at a time. <laughs> I'm trying to play the game too. 
I'm savoring not uh, the not dead chat, so though. Uh, no. Uh. Okay, let's pass. I missed no realm decks, like the Baron deck. I didn't much love the Baron deck, but I kind of... Yeah, I, I like that it was part of the game. That gore bigger? That got bigger when you killed units? I, I didn't like it because at the time of the game, it was... Removal was pretty fucking strong. And Baron was just like rubbing it in. It was like, look at me. Everything is dead now, huh? You like it? And, and, and I didn't like it. Because I'm kind of the guy who likes to play the value game. <laughs> so, I didn't like that. But I guess it was interesting. <laughs> so no, Bar Baron is, is not something I'm very nostalgic about. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's worse. Uh, fat, a uh, bloody baron was fun. Armor no realm was death to this deck though. I think removal is kind of in a good, good spot now. I would nerf poison and just put in a lot more interesting stuff. Like fuck it, fuck playing it safe. Like you cannot, you just cannot put cards into the game that are boring. Like, why would you put in, like, a 7 for 5? Like, that's just boring. I mean, even this card is, like, okay, but, like, that, that's also a little boring. Just put in interesting stuff, okay? Uh, I'm a little afraid of a... Ma Actually, Manticore can't get me now. If I play this... I would get... If I go Matahari. I don't know. We're gonna go with Nathaniel. But there's a chance he can do 6 damage. So I'm gonna go up to 7. And that should be enough to not die. Unless he has a Cyclops and he's gonna send it in. In that case, going up to a 9 would have been justified. Poison is so dull. I kinda like it. I liked playing with it uh, when it came out, but at this point it's just... Oh, fuck me. It is just so overdone. <laughs> it's just so overplayed, I, I don't like it. It's not overplayed because it's ridiculously powerful. But it's not very fun to play against because everything just dies. It's kind of the... Yeah, everything gets locked, everything dies, it's, it's a little lame. It's very lame. We done. Poison is kind of stupid. I think it's kind of cool. I like the deck. I just want it to be a tiny bit weaker. Tiny bit weaker. And also I want Neofgard. Most of all, I want Neofgard not to be just the shutdown faction. I want Neofgard to be... Actually have something else than like... Oi, your strategy. It's not working right now. And it's just a whole... You playing dudes and like it dies like... It, it doesn't... They don't have much of a strategy. Not much of an identity. I like Kahir, for example. It's like a very powerful card. That's a cool card. But everything else is just like shutting things down. They have Purify or Eat Poisoned? Good luck, Law. Yeah, I mean, you cannot eat the Poisoned units. Because if you eat the Poisoned units, then whatever ate the Poisoned units... Uh, gets poisoned and... Yeah. You're just making the problem bigger. That never works. Another battle. Another entry in the chronicles. Yeah, I'm gonna save it for Prince and Seas. Member Fire Medic? Uh, that was a long time. Barely. Maybe the title. 
No. I probably should say no. I'm always amazed that you guys remember crap like that. Uh, random name that I assigned to a deck uh, in the closed or open beta. I think it was a closed beta. Closed beta Nilfgaard deck. It was actually quite unique at the time. If poison would take timer instead of deploy action, it would be still as strong if the opponent has no answer but give you a chance to purify or interact in another way. I don't know how poison should work. I don't know how poison should work. I think it's a little too strong. I know that. But I don't know exactly how it should work. It's really tricky to balance because if you have it, for example, the guys that have F4 power and also apply poison, basically pay two stats for it, that's already a little too strong. But you also have other synergies with it, which is a little dumb. Oh my god. Yeah, we cannot target that. I guess it doesn't matter. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Die, peasant. <laughs> wow, this guy really wants to get burned. I don't know, man. I mean, I play big units, but even I don't have the put all my points into one dude strategy. That that seems like a bad idea. But respect. GG.